Hey everyone and welcome to Phil Friday. Today I am standing in Happy Bay, St. Martin. This is an absolutely epic place to be. And I'm standing in front of a three bedroom, three bathroom home here at the top of the hill in Happy Bay. We've got Friars Bay within walking distance just down the hill. We've got Happy Bay Beach as well in walking distance from here. So this place is in prime location between two absolutely beautiful beaches. Friars Bay Beach, we've got two restaurants, which allows for the activity. So if you're in kind of a mood to be around some people, meet some people, do some sailing, do some, some water sports, you can walk right down to Friars Bay and spend the day there. But if you're also looking to get away from it all and you just want to kind of go, I don't want any of that right now, you head over to Happy Bay Beach and that is just going to be a natural beach that you should have the majority of it to yourself. Obviously, it's getting more popular, but for the most part, you're gonna be by yourself. Just so you know, that beach is all natural in beach, and it's also all natural in person. So you will see nudity at that beach, just a warning. It's beautiful though. But enough about the beaches. This video here is about this house right behind me. Like I said, three bedroom, three bath, two levels and it's in prime location. This house is called Sea Dream. It is currently for sale, but it's also available as a vacation rental. So it's a great opportunity to try before you buy. So first things first, let's talk about the pool. It's what everyone wants when they come down to St. Martin. They say, where am I gonna cool off? Where can I go to swim? This pool here at Sea Dream is a plunge pool. It's nothing to do laps in but it does get a little deeper on the left side and there are stairs to walk into it. So it does give you the opportunity to cool down when you need it. It's also a super easy pool to maintain and uh, it's a pretty decent size. So this is definitely a pool that you can come out in, have a few friends in and relax. Uh, you're only gonna wanna have about six people in this house. So six people can easily enjoy this pool. Uh, what's great about it too, is that we are on the ocean side so when you are out here, you are looking at the ocean, but we've also got these really nice bushes here to give you the privacy that you want in case people happen to be walking by, which can happen because there are units on each side of the house. So speaking of each side of the house, we've got the pool in front and we've got two bedrooms behind me with ensuite bathrooms. So we've got two of the bedrooms here at pool height. You walk right out of them and come right out to the pool. Let's go check out this room over here. So both of these rooms on each side of the house are pretty much the same size. You've got a king size bed down here. Obviously if you own the house, you can do whatever you want. But for vacation rental purposes, you've got king size beds in every room of the house. So plenty of space to lay out. Another nice thing about these bedrooms is that each of them has their own private bathroom with dual sink, shower, um, toilet obviously uh, but what's really cool about these rooms is the ability to get up and go right out to the pool and that's how you start your day so really nice rooms on both sides of the house so as you leave the other room you literally just walk across the hall and now you're in bedroom two uh, this bedroom is also walks right out to the pool king size bed TV just like every room air conditioning with its own zone air conditioning. So you run a little hotter at night than someone else. You can each have your own air conditioning and ensuite bathroom as well. Um, so no matter who stays in this place, everyone is going to basically get the exact same thing. It's all very equal. So the couples don't have to fight over a room really. So it just comes down to who wants to be on pool level and who wants to be on kitchen level. Speaking of the kitchen level, Let's head upstairs and see that last bedroom. So this is bedroom number three or one, depending on what you want to say. Basically, this is the room that's on the kitchen level. It's also the room that is on the level that you would walk in. Where we started the video and walked in, we were actually in the pool side of the house where you would come in from your car is actually on the other side of the house. So this is the main level bedroom. The only difference in this room is that the ensuite bathroom does not have a toilet in it. The toilet is actually just across the hall from the bedroom. 
not a huge deal in my eyes, uh, but just so you know and are aware of that. But the great thing is it allows both rooms to be used at the same time. Uh, the other difference here is that you're not on the pool level anymore, you're on balcony kitchen level. So right out these doors, you're gonna go right to the living space outside and we'll go check out that now. So as you come out the bedroom that's on the kitchen level, you come to the outdoor living space. This is a covered outdoor living space. Uh, a lot of room, a lot of comfort, but really what it comes down to is this view. And for the majority of the year, the sun sets right over that ocean. And this is prime location for those who enjoy seeing a sunset every night. As we continue around on the patio, uh, just on the other side of it, this is where the dining table currently is. Uh, we got seating for six, because like I said, this is a three bedroom uh, villa, which means as a rental, you can have six people. Once again, sales, do whatever you want. Uh, but this is a great spot too, because we've got this view that is still standing here because we are directly across from that outdoor living space. So really it's a wonderful place to have dinner and then you make your way over to the living space and have your happy hour drinks while you watch the sunset. Now, lastly, let's check out the living room dining area, which is just off here. So as we step away from the dining table, we come to the inside kitchen living room. It's a combo. We've got indoor seating for six. This is if maybe it's raining or maybe you just want some AC while you, while you eat. Uh, we have an, its own individual zoned AC up here. So this will cool off the room as well. Everything in this kitchen is pretty brand new. Uh, all the cabinets are really well done. They're really nice. Uh, we've got appliances that have all been pretty much flipped out. Uh, so everything is, that you need is here, except an espresso machine. And I don't know about you, but when I'm in St. Martin, I drink espresso more so than coffee. I don't know why. Just what they do here, I follow the rules. Um, but besides that, we've got a gas stove. We've got a nice little oven, a uh, nice little sink, microwave, and an LG refrigerator and freezer. So this kitchen's gonna have everything that you're gonna need, especially if it's only a few of you. You don't really need that much space. This kitchen is definitely going to fulfill that. What's beautiful about it though, is that while you're cooking, you're still gonna get that view. And there's something about this house where everything is just built out to look over the ocean and it's absolutely stunning. So whether you're sitting inside having breakfast or you're sitting outside or you're you know anywhere in this house you're gonna get that view and that is the killer part about this house is the breeze and the view you won't have to run the AC too much because the breeze comes flowing in here it's super nice uh, we've also got this living space here uh, with a nice TV uh, for vacation rental purposes it's a smart TV uh, it's a fire TV so you can connect to your Netflix and uh, Amazon Prime. Um, so that's what you're gonna have here. A lot of vacation rentals down here have gotten rid of the satellite cable. Uh, it's super expensive here, and to be honest, uh, really wasn't worth it for a lot of people. So do be prepared that when you come to St. Martin, you are on an island in the middle of the ocean, and satellite and cable are not exactly easy to come by. So what a lot of places have now done is they switched over to the digital versions with Netflix and Amazon Prime. Some of our houses even have uh, Samsung TV, but if you're an American and you look at those channels, you ain't gonna wanna watch them. But it's saving a lot of the homeowners money. And at the end of the day, you really just need your Netflix and your Amazon Prime to just enjoy a few things. You're not gonna be spending too many hours on the couch, hopefully. Uh, but just be aware of that if you are one of those people who needs their news and you're going to have to find it a different way or find it uh, on YouTube or, you know, you'll have to figure it out. So this is the living room kitchen space, all in one space. Everyone gets to hang out together. Let's close this thing out. So like I said, this house is built for the view. So that's why I'm going to end this video here because this is your view throughout the house. It's absolutely spectacular. 
So this house is being sold by the sponsor of this video, St. Martin Sotheby's International Realty. If you're interested in buying this house or if you're interested in renting this house, you can try it before you buy it. Just hit up St. Martin Sotheby's International Realty. They are the best on the island at what they do. And once again, thank you to them. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. That's it for me from Phil Friday. I appreciate everyone watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you next Friday. It's Phil Friday.